Hello everyone, Hyper here. In this video, I will be choosing my primary alt. I guess that's kind of an oxymoron, but you know what I'm talking about. That alt, they play way more than all the other ones. Going into BFA. And this is the first time I actually have to choose before an expansion comes out, because previously, I would just have to pick my main, and then as the expansion progressed and I had more time, I would level an, level an alt after seeing kind of what's good, how well the other DPS are doing. But because my raid and my guild requires one mandatory alt for split clears, I actually have to know what I will be playing before the expansion launches. Keep in mind that this is the first time I'm recording one of these choose a class videos, so I wasn't exactly sure how to format it, but I will walk you through basically the criteria of how I'm choosing this class that I will be choosing, what the important topics are, where a class has to exceed, and also I'm picking a class, I'm not picking a specific spec because obviously if a spec is underperforming as a high-end mythic raider, um, I can't exactly play it. So throughout this video I will walk you through how I'm choosing this spec, what the criteria are, and also please keep in mind that these are specific to me and what's important to me when picking a class and a spec might not be important to you. So if you're kind of going through this the same as I am and trying to pick a main or an alt, some of these categories might be different for you. So first of all, we have a pool of all of the classes in WoW. And the very first criteria for me is that it has to be a melee class. And this is mostly because of personal preference and also because my main class is a melee. So I am choosing DK as my main class, obviously. And this video will be about my main alt. So DK automatically gets ruled out because I'm already playing it. And then um, since it has to be a melee class because I prefer more micro play and kind of uh, reactionary play style or, or like reactive play, play style rather than proactive. So for example, if a mechanic comes in, you kind of use your twitch reaction as a melee DPS to move out of it. Whereas a ranged DPS, you have to make more kind of uh, macro decisions on how you position, where you're standing in a boss fight and things like that. I just prefer the melee play style way more. So this pretty much eliminates um, Mage, Priest, and Warlock. I have played Mage in the past quite a bit. Uh, I played it in WAD and I played it in Legion. And in Legion it was actually my main alt for a while. Uh, Priest, Shadow Priest in particular, I haven't really had too much experience on it. And only played it a few hours total probably. And then same with Warlock. It, those two were just not a class that I really played in the past and was really looking forward to playing in this next expansion. So this leaves us with all of these melee DPS that we see on the screen. So my second criteria is that any DPS spec or any DPS class that I choose has to have at least two DPS specs. And this is very important to me because as a mythic raider, especially early on in an expansion, you are not exactly sure how tuning will turn out. Something might be undertuned, other things might be overtuned, and if your class only has one DPS spec and you're a main DPS on a roster, and your class is undertuned, you might feel a little bit useless and um, until it, things get fixed. Obviously this is much less of an issue later on in expansions, but early on this can be an issue at times. So for this reason I want any or any class that I choose to have at least two DPS specs. So this will eliminate Demon Hunter, Paladin, and Monk. Demon Hunter is actually, was going to be one of my top choices if this wasn't a criteria for me. Because Vengeance Demon Hunter is extremely good in Mythic Plus, and I love doing Mythic Plus, especially tanking Mythic Plus. Um, so taking Vengeance Demon Hunter and kind of having it as my alt would have been pretty nice, but I just can't take that risk of Havoc being undertuned and not performing in raids. Then Retribution Paladin, I actually made Holy Paladin for quite a while and I played Red in this time in Arena. Um, so I have some experience on Paladin in general, I never really played Prot and it is decent in Mythic Plus but it's definitely not one of the high-end tanks. So Retribution Paladin is out and also the Retribution playstyle that I experienced on the beta wasn't exactly one of my favorites, so I'm not really sad to see that one gone. And then we have Monk. Windwalker Monk is an amazing spec, and again, it's the same issue as Demon Hunter. It's only, it only has one DPS spec, right? Because you have Mistweaver, Brewmaster, and Windwalker. 
So you have tank, healer, and DPS. So if you're someone who's looking for a hybrid class that has all three, Windwalker or Monk, I mean, is probably one of the top choices because Windwalker is extremely fun to play. Brewmaster has been pretty good in raids, especially. Um, in Mythic Plus, it's a little bit lower, but in raids, historically has been very, very good. And then Miss Weaver was a little bit spotty during Legion, but hopefully get, that gets fixed in BFA. My third criteria for choosing an alt is the classes history in raiding and in mythic plus this just means how they performed the past tiers and past expansions as well as how meta they were at the time so we're left with druid warrior rogue and shaman and out of these druid especially feral which i'm looking at and shaman uh, is enhancement have not really been meta classes and when I say this, I mean that they've had their time to shine and they definitely did good damage at times. For example, we can look at Enhancement Shamans in Antorus. Very, very good damage. Probably one of the top classes for single target. And Feral Druid just hasn't really had its time, especially in Legion and late WAD when I started playing again. And I feel like this is mainly because a lack of utility. Um, so for a class to become meta, such as warrior or rogue that we have here there have to be certain things that kind of add together and make this class good you have to have good utility good damage good options for talents for example and a good rotation these are kind of the main categories that i can think of so for feral, feral druid it hasn't really been um a meta pick at the high end rating level in quite a while and none of the changes that I've seen in BFA and on the beta suggest that it will become one. So for this reason, Feral Druid is out for me. Enhancement Shaman, uh, they had recent changes that make it pretty good. But honestly, um, I never heal. So Resto would kind of be a dead spec for me. And Elemental, I never really played in the past. And when I did try it, I didn't really like the playstyle. And again, it, it is a ranged uh, spec which is probably the, the more major reason why I don't like it. But Elemental Shaman just didn't really do it for me. And Enhancement in Mythic Plus has never really been all that great, mainly because they're, they don't have an immunity or some huge DR. And also the AoE damage is pretty lackluster. They do more targeted damage and priority damage rather than just AoE and cleave damage. So for this reason, since uh, Feral Druid has never really been or hasn't been good in raiding in recent expansions or recent tiers, and then Enhancement Shaman hasn't really been good in Mythic Plus recently. For those reasons, those two classes are out. So this leaves me with Warrior and Rogue. Obviously, Warrior has two melee classes or melee specs, I mean, uh, both of which have historically been pretty good. Um, in lo looking at Legion, we started off with arms being better, if I remember correctly. Then during Nighthold, I believe, Fury became better. And then in TOS and, and Taurus, um, I think Fury stayed better with arms being better in TOS at some point. I don't remember exactly. Um, and then Rogue obviously went through kind of a similar roller coaster with... I'm trying to remember here. Outlaw, I think, was good in Nighthold. I, I wasn't playing my Rogue yet. Then, or in Emerald Nightmare, I think Outlaw was better. Then in Nighthold, we we saw Sub become better. Same in TOS. And then in Antorus, Assassination was better. So one of the classes was always meta. Or one of the specs was always meta. And if we look at Rogue and Warrior, they are two classes that have been top picks in the high-end raiding scene ever since high-end raiding was a thing because they bring really good utility, and with having multiple spec options, the odds of at least one of them being good is very high. So this leaves us again with Rogue and Warrior, and my last criteria of how I'm going to choose between the two. Well, this is kind of personal preference, and most of it does have to do with how niche uh, each pick is. Because since I'm choosing an alt for mainly for raiding purposes at this time, I want a class that has historically had its place in raids. And what I mean by that is if you look back at Tomb of Sargeras, there are a lot of fights where you wanted to bring rogues in. 
if you look at other raids even before that, there were a lot of fights where you wanted to bring rogues in, be that for the immunity, so to cheese something with cheese death, um, cheese death, cheat death, um, the damage, execute, there, there are a lot of factors. And with warrior, um, while warrior was always one of those classes that really brought the damage, it didn't really have the utility side. And um, even though that's not really that big of a deal for me between the two, it really comes down to playstyle and my history on each class. So I played Rogue, I actually mained Rogue, that was the very first class that I mained when I started playing WoW. And it was kind of a very good playstyle that I fell in love with where, you know, it's a, you get stealth, which is incredible in PvP and questing and world PvP. And then that just the two-handed, fast-paced uh, playstyle, especially with Outlaw and Subtlety, uh, really fits my preferences. And also a huge um, kind of part of how I'm going to decide is how good they feel going into BFA. So Outlaw Rogue and Sub Rogue are both incredible to play right now, especially Outlaw. Um, very smooth rotation, it's not very stat reliant, so even early on in expansion you will feel like you're contributing and doing damage and everything feels fairly smooth. And Rogue is not that affected by the global cooldown change. Since we have a one second locked GCD, it's not that big of a deal. Um, and we don't really have that many buttons that, we, that need pressing that are on the GCD, so it doesn't feel cluttered. And this was a huge issue for me with the Fury Warrior before they redesigned it. But then they went ahead and redesigned Fury to actually defy all of these GCD changes again and just feel like a class in Legion. So as far as playstyle goes, Outlaw, Sub, and Fury are kind of on the same page for me. With Arms being a little bit below and same with Assassination. Um, I played a lot of Assassination in Antorus and it's probably not one of my top specs that I would choose. But Outlaw and Sub, I really enjoy playing. So it's kind of a tough choice for me because Warrior uh, plays really good and obviously has good damage, good utility, the rotation is good, and the same goes for Rogue. But when I have to make this choice, um, like I said before, it is down to my preference and my playstyle, and I just prefer taking Rogue over Warrior. And also what factors in a little bit is, like I mentioned before, is that for some fights, uh, especially in Mythic Raiding and Mythic Progression, rogues can be very, very beneficial to have for Cloak, Feint, Cheat Death, uh, Cheesing Mechanics, things like that. So going into BFA, DK will be my main class, and that's I don't really have a choice with that, um, because most of my content revolves around uh, DK. And then Rogue will be my main alt. So why is this important to you guys? Well, going into BFA, I decided that I don't just want my videos to revolve strictly around DK, but rather I want to kind of branch out and do some more high-end videos, so high-end guides, maybe so show you some uh, mythic fights from my alt's perspective as well, and this will be my Rogue. Thank you for watching and please let me know in the comment section below what you will be playing next expansion be that your main, your alt or both of them and if this video influenced your decision in any sort of way. As always if you enjoyed the video please hit the like button and sub to the channel and if you want to support it directly then you can check out my patreon which is linked in the description box. Again thank you for watching and I will see you on the next one.